Welcome back to Postgres for MySQL DBAs. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for Pertona, and this is episode nine in the series. We're going to talk about views, materialized views, and the watch command, some very handy things to have. Now, a view is an abstraction of a table, and you can use it like a table. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, MySQL also has views, so you're going to see some, sim some similarities here until we get to uh, materialized view. We're going to create a table called base. It has three columns, A, B, and C. We insert some data. And if we create a view, we're going to create a really call V1. It's going to go out to our table that we created up here, and it's getting a value of A, the value of B, and the value of, of column four or column C, and multiply that times four. So if we run this view, we'll see that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 has become 1, 2, 12, 4, 5, 24, 7, 8, 36. So the various values in the column, last column were multiplied by 4. Uh, we can use this like a table. If we want to see anything from the view where the value of A is greater than 6, it will show us that information. Now, traditionally, views are used to simplify complex tables or statements or queries or obfuscate the underlying table. Uh, if the person has the ability to see the view but not the underlying data, the view will give them what they need to see, not everything that's in the underlying table. Now, materialized views are a little bit different. Think of this like a delayed stock quote where you only get um, five minutes in the path uh, of information. So if you're at noontime, you're seeing from 11.55. Uh, and if you're at 1 o'clock, you're seeing 12.55. So the, it's kind of like freezes the data for a little bit, and you can only grab it from there. So the difference is you're going to type create materialized view. And uh, this is the same basic view as last time, A, B, and C times 4 from the base table. And if we run our select X or select all visible columns from B2, where the value of A is greater than 36, you see that our values are 7, 8, and 36. Now, meantime, after we create this material of views, someone's come in and they've updated our table, our base table, not the view, the underlying base table, and they set the value of B to 99. Originally it was 8, now it's 99. So, if we do a select from V2, where A is greater than 6, hold it. We got the 7 and the 8 and 36. Now, V2 hasn't uh, a track with what's updated here. Well, that's my pur purpose. It's a materialized view. Until we say refresh materialized view on view V2, B has the old value of 8, not the new value of 99. That is the end of episode nine. Uh, if there's more uh, things you'd like to see covered in this series, please let me know. And if you're uh, curious about Postgres and need a guide on how to get through that, uh, please let me know. We're here to help you at Bracona. And with that, uh, please contact me if you have any questions at david.stokes at bracona.com or on x slash Twitter at Stoker. Uh, slides will be up at speakerdeck.com slash Stoker. And with that, thank you for watching the series and good luck with your future Postgres endeavors.